metals form some of our most useful materials. From cars, to cooking, to conducting electricity, we all depend on their properties. They can be extremely strong and difficult to melt, like this copper wire, but also extremely flexible. These useful properties are due to a special type of bonding that's unique to metals. Metal atoms of the same element bond together to form a giant lattice structure. Because metal atoms typically have only one, two or three electrons in their outer shell, they tend to lose these electrons easily, leaving them with a complete outer shell of electrons. But because they now have fewer electrons than protons, the metal atoms now carry an electrical charge. They've become positive metal ions. The outer electrons that are freed are no longer attached to one specific atom. We say they're delocalized. They're free to flow like a sea of negative electric charge through the entire lattice of metal ions. The strong attraction between this sea of negative electrons and the positively charged metal ions is what holds the structure together. This is the metallic bond. As the total negative charge of the electrons balances the total positive charge on the metal ions, the metal crystal has no overall charge. It's the sea of electrons that gives metals many of their key properties. The free electrons can carry electric charge, or heat, through the metal, making metals good conductors of heat and electricity. The layers of metal ions can slide over one another, so the metal can be hammered into different shapes without breaking. It's malleable. And free electrons can interact with light and make the metal shiny so metals can be attractive as well as useful.